Hey, this is Scott, and this is the third video in a series talking about the Godox TT685 speedlight side by side with the Canon 600EXRT. If you're new to this channel, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks to Pergear for supplying the Godox speedlight and accessories for this review. I'll put their link down below, so be sure to check it out. I'll be putting it head to head with my own Canon 600EX RT. In this video, we're gonna take a little look at the menu systems and features that both of these speedlights have to offer. There are gonna be four or five videos in this series, so if you're interested in any of the other videos, be sure to check out the playlist. I'll put a link on screen now in the description below, and of course, you can find all of those videos on my video page. Godox has ETTL, manual, and multi-modes. Canon has ETTL, manual, and multi-modes as well, but also has external M and external A, external flash metering modes. Since ETTL is so strong now, the external M and external A modes are probably not going to be necessary for most people. In ETTL mode, both Godox and Canon have flash exposure compensation, flash exposure bracketing, and flash exposure lock. They also both offer very easy to activate HSS or high-speed sync. The second press of the sync button, you can activate second curtain sync on both the Godox and Canon. The multi or stroboscopic mode also functions very similarly on both. It's very simple to use as long as you remember that the number of flashes divided by the frequency or hertz equals the shutter speed that you should use. On the Godox TT685 in manual mode, you can press S1 to activate the optical trigger. It's usable with any flashes and strobes, but it will only flash. You can't adjust or control it with this feature. S2 will ignore one pre-flash before flashing. Canon can be controlled optically from other flashes, including the TT685, but there's no pure optical trigger like the S1 or S2 modes on the Godox, so it won't be triggered by non-compatible flashes or strobes. The Canon version of the TT685 is also compatible as a master or slave unit with Canon speedlights like the 580EX2, 600EXRT, and also Canon camera commanders like in the 7D. With compatible cameras, you also have the ability to control both of these from the back of your camera. The custom function menu on the Canon is a bit easier to navigate and understand, and there are a few extra features that are not available on the Godox, but I haven't found them to be anything incredibly necessary. Of course, there are tons of details I could go more in depth with, but for most people, they're not gonna be necessary. So if you have any specific questions, then please leave it down below, and I will definitely get back to you. Once again, if you wanna see the other videos on this playlist, I'll put the link on screen now in the description below, or you can always find them on my video page. I'll also include the links to both of these speedlights in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Again, leave me any questions or comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and as always, thank you for watching.